So it's a great stuff to you. You guys use your time, use your energy, use your property, your money. How do you gain this? The one you want. You have to worry about. You have your house, your car. You have to worry about your house, your car. This man suffering due to formation. If you really lost it, and then a lot of suffering. So this boy is briefly because suffering due to painful feeling, suffering due to changing, suffering due to formation. So when you practice meditation, you will see especially this impermanence of this mind and body. This means you see every moment changing. This means you see suffering. When you see suffering, you will be able to get it out craving for sensual pleasure, craving for existence. That's why the Buddha says we need to follow the four, this A, the noble A for path, to understand suffering. As you understand suffering, you'll be able to reduce and remove attachment, craving, which is the cause of suffering. Then you will reach to the cessation of suffering. You gain eternal peace and experience the supreme bliss. So we need to follow the Buddha's teaching. It's the first sermon of the Buddha. The former noble truth is mainly to follow this the noble eightfold path right understanding and so on, and then you will be able to reduce the suffering. If you practice meditation, you will gain this is the first day of enlightenment, and then second, third, fourth. When you get first day of enlightenment, you will overcome all kind of suffering. No more rebirth. So out of you, try the best you can, follow the Buddha's guidance, and practice meditation to see the intrinsic nature of mind and body, which has impermanence, unsatisfactoriness, and non-self nature. Finally, may out of you be able to overcome all kind of sufferings and gain supreme bliss, eternal happiness in this life. Thank you for your attention. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.